Okay, everyone, and hello. And this is Shepard. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done any sort of a weapon tutorial. And so I figured, hey, uh, I've been playing a lot with the Switch Axe uh, ever since the summer and the North American Championship. And I've really gotten very comfortable with this weapon. So I thought I'd go over some features of the weapon that some people, you know, even though they've been using the weapon, may not have used an awful lot of. So just for basics, the Switch Axe is kind of a combination of two different weapons. You've got your basic axe style here, which you don't really use all that much unless you have kind of like a monster above your head, in which case the standard combo is pretty good at hitting above you, pretty high. Otherwise, you can press Y when moving forward, and you get a little closer to the monster. But outside of that, uh, the, the real value of the Switch Axe is its sword mode. So just pressing the trigger button there will switch to sword mode. This is the least efficient way of getting into it though. The nice part about the Switch Axe is if you have pretty much any motion, if you do a transformation, you transform into a different type of attack. So this chopping attack here, which is done by pressing B or circle, you transform while doing that. This chopping motion here is actually one of the highest damage moves that the Switch Axe has. It compares even to the Switch Axe when it's heated up. So whenever you're doing anything, uh, lunging forward, you can transform, you can transform and then go back, you can then swing and then transform into this again. You're almost never attacking in your axe mode unless you're going to transform out of it. That's just not, not efficient. So sword, uh, axe mode is a little bit faster than the sword mode, so we use that to reposition ourselves, but otherwise we're always doing an attack, we're going to transform about, out of it. Okay, makes sense? Hopefully. So, we're in our sword mode now. Biggest thing to do in sword mode is we have more or less two attacks that we alternate between two. We have our triangle, or Y, which is an overhead slash. And we have our B, which is our double slash. That's going to be the majority of what we use. You can press uh, Y and B, or triangle and circle together, and you get the elemental discharge. That's kind of an advanced technique that you will only use if you really know the monster. Otherwise, most efficient, just alternate Y and B. With our goal, of course, we want to get as many hits in as possible, getting our sword mode heated up. So you can see there in the top left, it's kind of got a glowing gauge around that. As long as we have file, we can attack, we do extra damage there. Now, there's actually some, sort of an interesting interaction this has, in that the file will hit for everything that it collides with. So if we can just move this barrel over here, where this weapon really shines is if you're in multiplayer, or if you have a cat, or if you have minions around, you can see we've got two explosions off there. So this will collide with any living entity on the screen and cause a little extra bit of burst damage. So the goal is, is use triangle and circle, or Y and B over and over again, heat ourselves up, and stay efficient in the sword mode. When it looks like our gauge is going down, we can transform back to axe mode and actually get our gauge back. So you can kind of see if I just go back and forth. This is kind of a slow and semi-inefficient way, but if you're just stalling while you're waiting for an opening in a monster, this is not a bad way to idle because you're kind of keeping your heat up and you're kind of getting your, your gauge back. Otherwise, if you're in a major rush to get up heat, you can always do Heaven Sword Flurry by mashing out Circle or B. Um, it's not very damage efficient or time efficient, but if you have a lot of file and no heat, uh, you can always start with that and get yourself up in that way. Otherwise, if you're very low um, on gauge and the monster's about to roar, you don't feel like you can roll through it, you can do a manual reload when you're in axe mode going to sword mode. Um, this is also even more efficient if you do this off of a ledge. So let's see that. You saw how long that took before. So here's a ledge here. I'm in axe mode. Very fast. All right, so ledges are your friend. Um, the axe attack is best for mounting. Otherwise, you can use the morph if you are going to be below that kind of little line threshold there to get heated up. Okay, some other things that are good to know. If you are in sword mode, you can actually roll and transform at the same time. So this is a normal roll. This is a normal roll into a transformation, it's almost double the length. 
So a lot of people are like, get caught out when they're in sword mode. They feel like, oh god, what am I going to do? Sword mode, I'm always in mobile. I, I can't really get out of the way. Well, just move. And, uh... Well, not like that. Although you can side hop. Just move and transform. That's it. So, those are the main attacks that you'll do. Um, only other thing is, of course, is if you, for some reason, um, are fully heated up, and the monster's been paralyzed, and the monster's gonna be in a trap, and you're gonna be, like, really, really low on file here, like, say you're like this, immediately after the double slash, you can enter a zero-sum or an elemental discharge much faster than normal. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go back to our favorite monster in just a minute here, the Nergigante. I'll show off a fight with him, and we'll kind of go over the different moves that uh, I like to use against basically all, all of the Elder Dragons, all of the monsters. Okay, so here's our Nergigante coming up. Well, we're not going to super load up. I mean, we've got pretty good equipment on right now, so it's not like we're going to have to go like super hard on him or anything like that. So you can actually draw right into the sword mode. As you can see that what I did there. And always get out of that. Okay, so he's scratched up. You're gonna wait for him to open up an opening there. Okay, so he's got his spines up. So big openings, I like to start with the double slash first. Otherwise, you want to just kind of focus on the single slashes until you know you're definitely safe. Well, it looks like my cat's putting him to sleep, so I'm going to take this as an opportunity to transform. Actually, getting a lot of flinches off of him. Like, a lot of flinches. That's what happens when you're used to fighting with weaker stuff. So, he wiggled his head a little bit there. Otherwise, I probably would have been able to finish that transformation chop. So, I could have actually done the Heaven Sword combo just now if I wanted. And probably been okay to, to power up a little bit there. So it looks like he's going to run away. So it's our perfect time to kind of get on him. And uh, start <laughs> riding him. You can tell when the uh, map changes in the, in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. If it goes white, it means he's ready to run away. And you can see there, I did a lot of those different moves I talked about. I did a lot of chopping transformations. I did a lot of attacks where I was in sword mode and I rolled forward to transform to pull my uh, switch into axe mode. Saying an axe mode like that is great. Um, you're not only repositioning yourself faster, and it's so quick to transform back into sword mode, it's not even like you lose that much damage. You just get that little extra boost to your ability to fill your gauge up and keep it up. Not only by the actual transformation, but also by being able to keep your, uh, your gauge increasing while you're in that axe mode. How much time is this anyways? Two minutes, 45 seconds, not bad <laughs> for, for just a... A semi-casual <laughs> Nergigante. <laughs> uh, okay, set. You know, I mean, of course, we're, we're going with, uh, you know, full max might, full weakness exploit, as much crit boost as you can fit on, all that stuff. All that good, juicy stuff. Probably, I didn't even really min-max the set all that much. I just kind of... This is, this is a uh, hashtag woke up with no makeup setup.
Um, so that's it for now. Uh, you know, if people really like this video, I'll go back and I'll start doing the other weapons again. I know this is kind of like a, a slow point in the series. Uh, the game's been out for almost a year now, but I know with the Steam sale, a bunch of new players are hopping on, learning the game. So if there are any weapons you wanted me to do, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I do stream virtually every day except for Wednesdays. So I try to do a day stream on twitch.tv slash sdshepherd uh, sometime between 9 and so and 4 p.m. Otherwise, I'm on nightly at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, go ahead and join the Discord if you want to know specifically when I'm on and what we're doing, and also to chat with other like-minded hunters that are also really, really good at this game. Otherwise, until next time, this is Shepard, and good luck, and have a good hunt.